Hi guys, I'm Angelo Le, and this video will try to fix this bad animation from the 7 deadly sins. You see, I already did the video and uploaded it on TikTok. I decided to make a video regarding the, my thoughts and process on how I fix this scene, specifically the scene where Meliodas wakes up. You know, like the Undertaker when he is on his back and he stands up real fast, only moving his upper body. Yeah, that's the only part I did. Well, first things first, let's watch the scene in question, shall we? He's reverting back to the Meliodas he used to be. Ironically, that comes with a power boost as well. Shock Stinger! Oh my god. It's beautiful. I'm just kidding. It's actually not that bad. Especially this part. This part where he... There's a health frame of him lying down. It's actually not that bad later on because it's... Except for the hand. See the hand? The, the hand. Except for that part. And the elbow. It's awkwardly placed, you see? But I'm not trying to fix that. I'm just trying to fix the part where he uh, stands up. I would just like to address that things like this happens in the animation industry. There are a lot of factors that causes this infamous bad scenes, especially this one. As a former animator for Toy Animation Studios, here are the things that I think affects the quality of animation. So, firstly, it's the deadline and the budget for this. So, even good animators tend to submit bad work because they are sometimes uh, underpaid so they tend to because animators are paid for the frames they make so each drawing for each drawing are only paid a certain amount so they tend to uh, do it really fast and sometimes disregard quality because of the pay they are taking and sometimes the deadline affects it for an animator who can draw 20 good frames per day and they gave you at least 60 frames to draw that day and you have that deadline for that day so you need to do it really fast and sometimes uh, skip the quality checks you often have after you draw your frame so sometimes when I do animations I tend to finish it re recheck it and re see and flip the canvas just to check if I did it correctly or something so that's it. Without further ado, let's get started. I went on ahead and broke down this scene into 9 frames that I needed to redo and reanimate. So let's just play it once and check. So I think the key drawings here are frame 1 and frame 9. The one which Meliodas is lying down and the one him sitting up. And a couple of in-betweens. And for 5 to 9, it's just the hair and the body not moving, just the hair moving down because of gravity. So, I think frame 4 should be a reference drawing but I'll make it a key drawing as well. So, it, from 4, it immediately pops back to 5 and the hair goes down. So, I'll make these two IBs. Make these two frames IBs and actually remove this armband <laughs> it's the only frame in this shot which Meliodas has an armband the rest it doesn't see so I'm just gonna redraw Meliodas and work on the background so I'll just keep Elizabeth in the background and not redraw her we'll just focus on Meliodas instead so I decided to make it a time lapse and just talk through it to my process on drawing Meliodas so I sketched Meliodas again and tried to fix its anatomy especially the hand because in the original the hand was awkwardly placed and I decided not to stick with the original manga I saw the manga it was a bit more intense movement but I decided to not draw it like that and draw it in my, in my own style and closer to the original animation as possible this is the part of the animation I had a lot of trouble with because from the original it doesn't look quite organic and it's really hard to draw so I decided to draw Meliodas on an angle so it's a lot easier for me but it proved quite a challenge because as you can see I did a lot of revision I mean a lot of revisions I mean I didn't quite get the face right until this part so I think I'm quite happy with this and I moved on to the frame 4. So for key drawing number 4, I made Meliodas a little bit taller and quite skinnier than the original because from the original 
it doesn't feel right he was short and he had no neck so i think i'm happy with this one and i'll move on to the cleanup so for the cleanup i use black for the outline and details and red for the highlights and blue for the shadows so i decided to go back and forth from the original and see where the shadows lay and the lights are hitting him for key drawing number one i think i made the mistake of making Melodas' eyes closed because from the previous scene his eyes were already open so i tried and fix it in post-production so but i didn't get the chance to record it because i already painted the drawings before i saw it and changed it so for this one i think after i'm done tweaking kid frame 4 from minor details i'll do an in-between for frame 2 and frame 3. to get frame 2 i i bid frame 1 and frame 4 so i did a rough sketch of the parts that cannot be directly i bid when you move the canvas to middle so here is me tweaking a bit of parts and after this one i'm going to in between frame 3 using frame 2 and frame 4 so it's a lot closer to the frame 4 key drawing sadly i didn't get the chance to show the in between us of hair but here's me painting the hair from the compound and the body for frame 9 and the rest so in painting is really easy you just make sure you don't miss any pixels right in between the lines so after this we'll see the final final animation side by side with the original so here it is wait before i play the original and the animation i made side by side here's what i did for the background and elizabeth so i didn't need to draw them so i badly photoshop the the background and removing Meliodas from it the parts which will be covered i didn't cover it up in photoshop so the parts these parts are gonna be covered by my drawing and i moved the pillow because i changed the angle where he's sleeping so here it is here's for frame one and here's the movement of the other frames because they didn't move in sync uh, Meliodas uh, moved first and elizabeth reacted so uh, this is only a few frames, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's only 6 frames. So here it is, the movement of Elizabeth. So without further ado, here is the side-by-side. -side. Ironically, that comes with a power boost as well. Shock Stinger! Well, there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for other animation videos. Please leave a comment below on what other bad animations you would like me to fix. I also have other videos on my YouTube channel for you to watch. See you later and have a good one.